Surely, if a keeper's under pressure, you would say, have a few extra shots, have a few pop shots. Uh, I don't know with De Gea. I think there's so much respect for him out there that, yes, OK, he's made a couple of mistakes, but I don't think in the dressing room before the game the manager would have said, target De Gea, because he's not the type of goalkeeper. Obviously, we've seen Alonso scoring, and it, and it was another mistake from him, but I don't think it would be a situation where he would have been targeted because of that. OK, he's made a couple of mistakes, but he's not a goal, goalkeeper but you would expect to happen. Have you ever, has a manager ever said to you, listen, this keeper, he hasn't been great for the last, say, three, four weeks, yeah. six months, whatever it might be, and said, so let's put him under pressure. Well, let's put high balls in, crosses, etc. That that would be what it was. You know, when I've been playing, in particular, Stoke City days when I was there and we had the big physicality, it was always the first 10, 15 minutes, put the ball up in the air, and it wasn't a case of, let's see if we can score from it. As he's coming up to collect the ball, give him a little nudge. Let him know that you're there. So then when the next cross comes in, let's see whether he can take it again. And if they come through that, then, then absolutely fine. And But it's in terms of targeting a goalkeeper from, from long distance shots it's not something that I've necessarily been no. part of a lot but the ball's into the box 100% because you know you can have that physical side of the game and see whether they can stand up to it why don't we take a look at the goal again as well and I mean how do you defend De Gea after yet another big big mistake it, it, it cost them two points here today yeah, but it's not only him sometimes it's, it's a problem in, in this situation <laughs> when the goalkeeper makes mistake it's him always but the defender needs for the, the, the the, the, the ball but all the time. He need to protect the, the goalkeeper. It, we know exactly when the shoot is coming, a lot of ball is changed. The, the, the way it's coming is okay, it makes a mistake. But also, I, I'm sure she sees a defender for this go, uh, the ball. Uh, Chelsea no score. But surely it's because of the high standards which De Gea has set himself. For over the last, what, five seasons, he's got player of the year four times? Because when you're setting standards that high, you can't afford to slip up. If you were to make mistakes week in, week out on the pitch when you were at Chelsea or Real Madrid, and the high standards you set yourself, of course you're going to start questioning things, aren't you? Of course, of course it's different. But the way I'm, I say, a lot of players have, uh, make mistakes, a lot of players have a defect when I play. I think, I think, uh, our, uh, the, the, the play uh, the Chelsea he, he makes score you see all the, all score all all yeah. score he made he always fall uh, fall uh, the second ball when uh, you see him score a lot of goal is the second ball after but it's not be all the time the the defender is a striker also the striker need feel this game he have a lot of striker he yeah. score a lot of goal like this I remember three the game. Many score is score is like this. Second ball is come. Second goal is come. It's not about the mix sex, the goalkeeper. But sometimes he's a player is he feel he know he won't happen something. Yeah, I think Alonso he feels this, he won't happen something like this because he know exactly he played together the national team. I think <laughs> he know exactly know. he know exactly it's happened sometimes. He fall. You see, it's only him. You know exactly the, the, the team met on the national team. Did you use that knowledge when you played for your national team and you were up against teammates course, at club uh, level? Uh, of course. Sometimes I tell my friend, listen, I know this guy. So you go this way, he's dead. <laughs> really? Still of course, still go there, still go there. Well, I'm, I'm sure they're all retired like who? Of course, so we they give message together. It's normal. With the national team, we need winning against the national team. We need to have a different, uh, sorry, different... Uh, uh, system different help uh, the teammate for me uh, for two better think uh, I, I tell the situation for my teammate listen this guy you know like uh, when you go left foot need to go there it's, it's, it's uncomfortable it's happened interesting no it, it, it is and you use everything to your advantage <laughs> 100% and I think like what Claude's saying there is that you know De Gea obviously he spills the ball but it's all about the reaction and it's Alonso the one that reacts first now let's fast forward towards the end of the second half he made an outstanding save from Higuain, which is an unbelievable save. So you're looking for a reaction. And the problem is with De Gea, because he sets such high standards, everything that he does is going to be questioned. Amplified the fact, as Yeah, well. it's going to be amplified. And, and the fact of you being a goalkeeper, when you make a mistake, unfortunately, the ball will end up in the back of the net. If, if Claude makes a mistake in midfield, there's still players that can help him out. If I made a mistake in defence, I would still have my centre-back partner and my full-back that can help me out. 
as a goalkeeper, you've just got to deal with it. And what I found, what I found really interesting is the half-time whistle went, as De Gea's walking in, he gets to the spot where we are now, all the fans stand up and start singing his name. So they're not losing the faith in him. This is all, this is all about De Gea now, making sure that he can get his confidence back up, because there's no doubt about it. This club, the manager and the players around him, they will have full belief in him. I'm sure they want to keep him.